much. Thank you so much for coming to your love reading. This should resonate for sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Those of you that are cross-watching, welcome. This can be your situation or your partner's. It kind of just depends. Sometimes we do have to flip it. So keep that in mind, especially if you are cross-watching. So here's what's coming in for you guys. The first thing um, we have here is the skunk spirit. And this is all about knowing your worth. Um, I feel like for some reason right now, um, now is a time for you guys to really stand in your own and really acknowledge that you are very unique and very special. And if somebody isn't seeing that, fuck them. Bye. Like th not everybody is meant to see like how bright you shine and not everyone is going to understand it. And guess what? They're not meant to understand it because whoever is meant to understand you, okay, the philosopher, um, you know, they're supposed to be in your life, okay? And I feel like that when you're a very unique type of person and you're a very, um, you're an individual, right? You're not somebody that's going to follow along with the crowds. You're going to do you at the end of the day. I feel like when you have that type of energy, people, it's very polarizing, right? They either like you or they don't. And I just feel like for you, fuck the ones that don't and keep it pushing. That's something that's coming in very, very strongly. I just feel like now is the time for you to really embrace your individuality. I feel like now is the time for a level of forgiveness, maybe for those people that maybe didn't understand your worth, okay? And not everyone is going to agree with you or share your ideas or your values, but at any time, like, you know that you can walk away with your head held high and say, okay, well, we just didn't match, all right? But I feel like this. I feel like right now you're going through a time where somebody definitely did not appreciate you and appreciate um, the amount of effort that you've put forward. Now, this can be because they have their own issues or something has definitely triggered them. Either way, that's not that's not your um, not your circus, not your monkeys. Like, who cares? That's on them. That's for them to figure out. But what you are being told to do, especially in any type of romantic situation, is really, really be yourself without an apology, okay? It's also having a level of forgiveness with yourself. If there's something here that you've made a mistake on, forgive yourself. Shit happens, move on. But I also think that something right now is not sitting right for, right with you. And I feel like this has to deal with self-respect or um, standing up for yourself or speaking um, your truth, okay? So always just remember who you are and what exactly matters to you. And I feel like when you do that and you do that with a sense of integrity, I feel like everything is going to work out. Okay. That is that. Now here we also have embrace. So embrace each other and you will find the missing pieces. And we also have forgiveness here as well. And this is stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too short and precious to waste. Create your reality by what you think, by what you dream, and by what you imagine. So I feel like that is perfect for you, um, to be honest. I do feel like right now there is something that you're holding back. There's something that you're repressing here. It's almost like you're trying to um, temper or tame your temper almost. I don't know. Or, or an ego. There's something here where I feel like maybe somebody tried to go for your ego. Um, but I do feel like something right now in your life needs to be kind of left behind. And it's really about knowing your worth and knowing what you bring to the table and not forgetting that. Sometimes I feel like, um, I can speak as a woman. So if you're a man watching this, you can take it how you want. But I feel like as a woman, sometimes we forget our place. Sometimes we forget our truth and our truth is we're a bomb ass bitch, right? Or like, you know what I mean? Like sometimes we need that little like kick in the ass or a little pep in our step to really recognize like who we are and exactly what we bring to the table because it is very unique, right? And we are unique. And I think that that is something that is very important for some reason when it comes to your reading. Okay. What's the overall energy here for Sag? Sun, moon, rising, or Venus, the overall energy for love and romance for Sag. Okay. The seven of swords. Something needs to be said. There's definitely something in the dark here. This is Moon and Aquarius. Um, what is the energy of Sag's person of interest when it comes to the relationship? What is their overall energy when it comes to their relationship? I feel like your partner thinks that they're single. I'm going to be honest, that they're just working on themselves. 
I feel like this person likes to take a lot of time. I feel like this person, you and this person may have recently um, ended a relationship for some of you guys. Um, how does Sag feel about their person of interest romantically? How does Sag feel about this person romantically? Sag feel, okay. Ten of Swords. I do think for you, it's kind of like an ending. But for a lot of you, I feel like it never started. It's like something that you thought was going to take off the ground and it didn't. I don't know what happened. What's the current situation between Sag and their person of interest romantically? What's the current situation between these two romantically? Possibly a Gemini. Possibly dealing with a Pisces or Aquarius. Aries. What is the current situation between these two romantically? What is the current situation? Okay. The Five of Cups reversed. Okay, there's Mars and Scorpio. Let me get the outcome here. What's the best potential outcome? What's the best potential outcome here? Best potential outcome for love and romance for this month. Okay, new love. See what I'm saying? Like, I do feel like there's something here that really did upset you. I also feel like, too, like you're really trying to not let your ego get the best of you in some sense. But I do feel like there is something new coming. Either this is a new aspect of the relationship or a brand new person is actually coming in for you. But I feel like this brand new person comes in when you know your worth, when you acknowledge like what type of person you are and exactly what you bring to the table. Okay, what's the overall energy for love and romance for this month? Okay, the overall energy, love and romance for this month. Okay, we have Axe. Who is this person? Who is a person? Too many cards. What is their energy when it comes to Sag? What is this person's energy when it comes to Sag? Okay, the Grim Reaper with the Phoenix. All right. How does Sag feel about this person romantically? How does Sag feel about this person romantically? Okay, we have clock. I feel like this is a cycle. I feel like you and this person do this. Like there's a lot of back and forth here. It's, I feel like there are some games that are being played and I feel like you're just over it. It's like, uh, 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 I'm, I'm not doing this because you're always chasing them. I feel like you're somebody who constantly chases them. Um, what's the current situation between these two romantically? Current situation between Sag and this person romantically? Jesus. Mirror. Okay. You and this person are mirroring each other. All right. So here's what I'm gathering. I feel like somebody's waiting for somebody to be single. That's something also that I'm getting. Like, I feel like for some of you guys, you may be dealing with somebody who is in another relationship, possibly with an Aries or a Virgo. This is a relationship I feel like that has been here for a period of time for some of you guys. And I feel like you're just like, why? Like, why are they, why are they here? Like, you're ready for them to cut it out. So your overall energy, we have the Seven of Swords, which I said was Moon and, moon and Aquarius. And this is with breakup act, separation, silent treatment. I feel like you and this person are not talking. I feel like um, there is something here where you do have to stop the pattern. There is some type of um, games that are being played here with this Seven of Swords. Okay, Eight of Swords. I feel like the games this month are being played to kind of put you in a place where it's very confusing. Here's Gemini. Um, and I feel like, and I think that this is Mars in Gemini. It's either Mars or Jupiter in Gemini. I don't, I think it's Jupiter. And I think for you, some of you may be dealing with a Gemini trying to figure out whether or not you should invest in them. But I feel like right now is a time where you guys are tired of the same thing happening and happening and happening again. And now it's like you're really trying to understand what you want, right? It's like, yeah, there is some type of isolation here. I feel like something definitely has changed. And you're going from the seven to the eight here. Um, wh why is the eight of swords? What's, what's, what's being thought about here? What's being thought about here with this eight of swords? The Empress, so Libra, Taurus, what's being thought about? Knight of Wands reversed, okay? 
there you are also Gemini I just feel like right now you don't feel like yourself I think that right now because of whatever has happened in the past with this person whatever's happened this month it's like you're kind of looking at yourself now and there's no emotion it's like there's 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 a lack of passion here and I feel like for you it's kind of like but why like where where or when did this go sideways um I also feel like too there's a level of anxiety here because whatever falls you know whatever goes up must come down and I feel like for you right now you need to take a step back and really harness your energy and don't run out of fuel here because I think that you're you're doing the most when it comes to you to you and I feel like it's because you're trying to prove that you are somebody that's worth this person's time Jupiter and Leo six of wands but I also feel like two here I also feel like with this six of wands you're leaving this eight of swords and you're going to the six of wands I feel like now is a time for you to be very quiet. I feel like there is something that you're going to be very successful in where you're going to want to get up and go. However, I think right now is a time for you really to recharge, really push back up that ego, really um, center your energy and understand that certain things need to be, need to be left alone. Okay. And I wouldn't dwell on the past. If I was you, I would only move forward to the future. That's, that's how I'm reading um, this energy. Now, your partner is coming in with the Eight of Pentacles, with um, the Grim Raper and the Phoenix. For this person, I feel like there is something where the relationship is over. I do feel like this person is really working on themselves. But it's funny, at the same time that they're working on themselves, I do feel like they're waiting for you to say something. Because we do have the Three of Wands here. So there's Aries with the Nine of Wands, which is Moon and Sag. Okay? It's like... I also feel like, too, though, that this person is very resilient. Like, this person's like, look, I'll sit here and wait forever. Like, there's something about this person where they may seem like they're very focused, but I do feel like they are waiting for the confusion to end between you and them. Okay, Scorpio Venus. There's also Scorpio as well as Aries. I feel like they're waiting for this to restart again. I do think that they are looking forward to a new phase or some type of rekindling when it comes to you. How would Sag feel about this? How would Sag feel about this energy? Yep, Queen of Wands with the Two of Swords reversed. I feel like you're no longer in your head. I feel like this would make you feel like they've made some type of decision and I feel like the decision is to be with you. Um, and I do feel like there is some type of completion here because this person does care about you. I just feel like, Sag, they don't appreciate you. That's the problem. Somebody can love you, but they can, but if they don't appreciate you, if they don't see your worth, it doesn't matter. And then, you know, that question comes up with like, well, what do they love then if they don't love all of me? You know what I'm saying? I don't know why that's coming in, but it is. Um, okay, so now we have the Ten of Swords with how you feel about this person and Clock with the Chaser. I think right now is a time where there is an ending here. I do think that it's not a good feeling and this is Mars and Gemini. And for you, it's like there's no more action that needs to be taken here. I also feel very strongly, though, that when it comes to this person, I feel like you've already accepted, okay, You've already accepted what's what's happened between them because you have the seven of swords, eight of swords, and boom, it hit the ten. But I do feel like you guys need a level of healing. I feel like this person has definitely hurt you. And I feel like there's a lack of communication for the most part. I do feel like things pick back up between you and them. Um, okay, here you are right here. I think that you have good days. And I think that you have bad days when it comes to this person. I feel like it's very up and down. Sometimes you're happy. Sometimes you're cool. It just kind of depends. I feel like if you talk about it, it's like I think that that puts you back in your head. This may have to do with a Gemini or another Sag. 
even a Pisces, I feel like it could deal with. What do you what do you want me to tell Sag here about how they feel about this person? Eight of Wands reversed. For you, it's like there's no moving forward. Like in your head right now, it's like everything is done and said. Everything is completed. I don't know what to do here. It's like for you, Eight of Wands reversed. That's Mercury and Sag. It, that's a very optimistic type of communication. But the fact that that's reversed, it's like it's changed directions very quickly. Like, I think that you are very optimistic about seeing this person, having a conversation, and then all of a sudden, it's like that's come to a stop. Um, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, uh, Taurus, as well as Capricorn. One more card here, please. High Priestess. Yeah, I just think that for you, there was a lot that you didn't know about this person, and for you, there was a lot of secrets that were being um, kept or a lot of secrets that were being held. And I feel like you knew that. I feel like also, too, you may have reached out to this person and then they went quiet. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini. I feel like this person is very slow when it comes to love. I feel like they tend to turn their back on love for some reason. It's like they can be hot or cold. They can be very nurturing. They can be very caring or they can be just absolutely just very cold and ruthless. I feel like there's something here very routine about this person. I feel like this is somebody that has a has a routine. You and this person do this. There's some type of back and forth here, which is why that cycle needs to be broken. Okay, your current situation, we have near with the Five of Cups reversed. So I feel like there's no longer this challenge here of feeling loss. Like, I feel like there's no longer that sense of loss. But now I feel like if the Five of Cups is here, it's now going to the Four of Cups, which is Moon and Cancer. And I feel like for you, like, let me ask, why is this five of cups reversed? Before I say anything, with the 10 of wands, I think that you've just decided like it's too much. Like I'm no longer gonna be upset anymore. I'm just gonna move forward. I'm gonna do me. I'm gonna go play the field. I'm gonna go date. I feel like this person either moved out or that there's something here because this is Saturn in Sag also. So there is some type of lesson here. pertaining to expansion, pertaining to movement. This person may have actually had to move for their job. That could possibly be it. However, I just think that you're tired of not receiving the type of recognition that you want. And because of that, it's like you're very resilient right now with, no, I, I want this. No, I deserve this. Well, fuck it. I'm going to walk away. And if I have to leave a relationship behind, that's fine because then I'm going to go out there and I'm going to start dating. That's the kind of energy that I'm getting here. I also feel like, too, there's not a lot of conversations going back and forth. I feel like somebody's being very quiet. I feel like um, somebody is sleeping a lot. I feel like there's somebody that's very tired here. And I also feel like, too, you have a level of faith that standing your ground with this person that... Everything is going to work out in the end. I really do. And I think with you, Sag, there's more than one person here that's going to be coming in for you, which is beautiful. What's the best potential outcome? So there is a new love. A new person has um, entered. Some of you, it may be a Leo, a Libra, or a Taurus. I feel like you need to be strong right now and walk away from no long, what's no longer serving you. I, I do get that very strongly. And I feel like you're going to be stepping into something that has a level of abundance, that has the ability to grow. There's something beautiful here coming for you guys. Take a look at this. With that being said, Sag, I love you guys, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.